seconds. Start. Mr. Chairman, for about 12 years or more now, I have been related first rather distantly and then more intimately with the work of the Institute of Pacific Relations. I have profited by reading your publications and have always felt that you were doing good work in trying to understand the problems of the Pacific or the Far East. For a long time, I have felt that as time goes on the problems of the Far East will become more complicated and the center of gravity of the tension prevalent in the world today will shift to the Far East and in particular to Asia. While people readily agree that Asia has to a certain extent become the focal point of world tension, they relegate Asian problems to positions of relative insignificance and tend exclusively to emphasize the importance of European and other world problems. I agree that European problems are and have been very important but I have felt that in the perspective of things to come they were wrong in not devoting the requisite attention to the problems of developing Asia. Asia compels attention in many ways. There are a large number of backward countries in need of urgent economic development and others in which acquired scarcity of vital commodities prevails. But what is most indeed is an understanding that Asia is going through a process of change and that it is in ferment. Some parts of Asia are quiet and relatively peaceful whereas others are torn by external troubles and disturbances. I am not referring to the external situation so much as to the characteristics inherent in the personality of Asia. I do not claim that this change is peculiar to Asia, perhaps it is taking place all over the world. In Asia, we have been kept down and are now trying to catch up with others who are ahead of us. We have been engrossed in things of the past and time has passed us by. We have not been able to keep pass with it and so we must run. We cannot afford to talk but then when we run we also stumble and fall and try to get up again. We realize that speed especially in an age old continent like Asia involves risk and dangers but we have no choice in the matter. If you seek to understand us, you can do so to a limited extent 